Aries, welcome back to my channel. Um, and this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So the first message we have here is a chance encounter. Hmm. There's very, very intense, very emotional energy coming through with this card here, okay? I'm picking up on a connection that's been at a distance for a while. And whether you know it or not, this masculine energy is not taking this, this distance very well, okay? And this may be hard to believe, Divine Feminine, because the masculine energy that's coming through is someone who is very cerebral, okay? And what I mean by this is that in order to even penetrate them emotionally, or pull on them emotionally, you have to get into their mind, okay? This is somebody that is very sharp, very logical, and firm in how they present themselves externally. But there's something happening on the inside of them that you really, really need to know about, okay? I just got rare very clearly. So this is pointing to a connection and the way that it manifested into the physical. Something about this has always felt preordained to the both of you. And for some reason, this is what your person is focusing on right now. It's almost as if they wanna replicate this in, in some kind of way, but not so much the time and the space, but the energy behind the, the actual alignment, okay? So if you've been wondering how your masculine is currently feeling about you, they are manifesting you. Okay, but they're doing this in a very particular way. It's almost as if everything has to be right. This is somebody who's extremely detailed, very, very particular. Okay, they pay attention to a lot of things that you may often overlook or you may just not even feel like they're tapped into. This is someone who pays very close attention to detail. Okay, so the time and place is sticking out here, but they're mainly focused on the energetic aspect of this, okay? And although this is what they want, they also understand that they are not fully in control. So this is playing on their emotional process as well, okay? It's like they're allowing the universe to work out the details of this chance encounter, but they are absolutely manifesting you. And the way the energy is coming through your person has not been taking this physical separation very well, okay? There may be something that they really, really need to say to you, something that kind of feels long overdue. They may also feel like this is something that they're not able to pull off on their own, okay? So they're definitely leaning on the universe for assistance. But this is definitely tapping into a connection that is very rare or there's something about the conditions under which you met that is really auspicious or even faded, okay? For some reason, the energy keeps going back to that, okay? The place of origin um, or even, even the energetic essence of how you originally met, okay? This may play a big part in where you are right now on your journey, but I'm also getting that there's like this underlying unexpected energy as well where your person might want to kind of catch you off guard with this chance encounter um almost as if this will serve as some type of confirmation for them or for for the both of you okay let's get the next message here Okay, so the next message we have here is nothing makes sense. Hmm. Okay, um, this may come off a little extreme, Divine Feminine, but you have absolutely entered this masculine spirit, okay? And what's being highlighted right now is their current mental state. You are really in their head right now, way more than you think. So much so that they're in this place where they're kind of creating stories about you in your life, okay? This is a masculine energy who has begun to kind of paint pictures based off the information that they have about you. And they are really, really invested in these thoughts. 
It's almost as if they believe them to be true, but there could be some deception coming through here. So they don't have all the facts, but due to the distance, it's like they have no choice but to assume. And it seems like they may be assuming the worst, okay? What's sticking out here is that this is someone that wish you knew that this connection is, is nowhere near an out of sight, out of mind type of connection. This is someone who has remained connected to you. And I feel like this is highlighting your person's attempt to connect with you telepathically, okay? So they are definitely pulling on you energetically, but this is through the upper chakras. They are receiving a lot of information about you through the dream state, also through signs and synchronicities, subtle nudges from the universe, and just this really deep inner knowing that they have about you, okay? And this is what they're using to create these stories about you, okay? And this is about where you currently are in your personal journey. It's like their mind does not stop when it comes to you, Divine Feminine. They may have to consciously put it into these thoughts because when it comes to you, they can go really, really far, okay? So they're thinking about your personal journey, your love life, your work, like literally every aspect of your life. And their mind is kind of attempting to fill in the blank space about you because they feel out of touch. Um, it's almost as if things mentally with them are kind of all over the place because they no longer know what's true and what's being divinely guided, okay? They don't know what's coming from source and what is just merely assumptions about you at this point, okay? And so it feels like they may be manifesting this meeting with you to kind of confirm what it is that they've been feeling, okay? Um, there could be some underlying fear here as well, which has them thinking the worst, assuming the worst, depending on, depending on where you left off in your journey, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message is mixed signals. Okay. Divine Feminine, this masculine in your energy field is very, very confusing to you. Okay, I'm, I'm getting that clearly. It's like there's a huge difference in what they feel and what they express. So if you're wondering why they have been sending you mixed signals, there's a very interesting reason why, okay? There are two different versions of them. And because you are their divine counterpart, you have a direct connection to both versions. There's your person's 3D self, which is their physical being, okay? And then there's their spiritual self or the 5D aspect of their being. And I'm getting that this is a connection that began in the 5D way before it manifested in the physical realm. So naturally, when your person pulls away, it seems as if they get closer in the 5D. And lately, their higher self has been drawing very, very close to you. This is something that often happens in the twin flame dynamic when your person is dealing with something heavy in the physical world and there is a blockage or a barrier that's stopping them from communicating honestly with you, okay? This is why you may be feeling some heaviness in their energy. What's interesting is that depending on which aspect you feel the most, the 3D versus the 5D self, okay, the types of thoughts that you have for your masculine will vary because the 3D self may at times be operating from a place of fear. So these messages or this energy can make you feel a little anxious sometimes, maybe even a little on edge. But the higher self, this pulls directly from the heart space. So this energy is an energy of pure bliss, okay? It feels good and it's very calming and reassuring. So developing this type of energetic bond really takes time to grow and to develop spiritually over time. This is also highlighting a masculine energy that tries to tap into your energy a lot. And so because you are intuitive, Divine Feminine, it's like you can almost feel them in this way. It's like you know automatically when they're about to pull close to you, and you can feel when they're when they're pulling back from you as well. And this may be very frustrating because I'm getting that when your person is open and honest and free flowing, the connection flows very, very effortlessly.
but then it may change and automatically put you in this place of kind of unease, okay? But if this masculine were to be 100% honest with you, they may not even be aware that they're giving you these mixed signals because you have the higher awareness of their emotional process. And this is because you just have the access to their heart space, okay? So you get the raw emotion, Divine Feminine, good, bad, or indifferent. But they may not even be aware that this is happening to them on a subconscious level, okay? So there, this is a connection that's really tapping into um, kind of like this tug of war energy, the higher self versus the lower self here, okay? Let's get the next message here. There's like such a contrast of, of energy. The next message we have here is you're off limits. Yeah, very, very intense masculine energy. Yeah. Um, it's almost as if it's, it's painful for them to continue to hold in what it is that they're feeling. There's deep repression that's coming through with this masculine energy here but this is someone who really thinks the world of you divine feminine but they have not been completely honest in their emotional expression and it's not for the reason that you may think this is absolutely due to the intensity of their emotion so they hold back they may even wonder how this would impact you and would it change how you feel about them if you knew how deep they can actually go when it comes to you the connection I'm tapping into is very intense, but Divine Feminine, you have no idea how much your person has actually been holding back, okay? They have a lot of conflicting emotions when it, when it comes to you. I just got the word selfish, okay? So when your person feels this energy here, you're off limits, this is a really layered statement, okay? There's a lot of energy coming through with this card here. They feel that there's an undertone of intimacy with everything when it comes to you, okay? And so naturally, this makes them very, very protective over you and over your energy, Divine Feminine. They know that you are a feminine energy that has a very gentle spirit. And they know that this quality about you is very sought after. So this time away from you has definitely been an emotional roller coaster for them because although they feel as if there are parts of you that they really don't want to share or they, they don't even want people to have access to, they also understand that this is very selfish of them because of how they also held back in this connection. So you may be very curious about why your person does this, why they hold back, why they haven't reached out to you yet. This is why. As much as they have this deep yearning for you, they oftentimes stop themselves like dead in their tracks because they feel selfish. This energy is intense, but it, it's also very emotional as well. This masculine is, is sorting through some very deep truths about you that they noticed in the very, very beginning. The feminine energy that I'm tapping into here, you've always known that there was this force within you that's not only driving your life, but it's also kind of going before you and carving out your journey. This is connected to the people that you've crossed paths with, especially this divine masculine, because they get to see a different side of you, one that is much more intimate. So no matter where you are on your journey, your person can feel the effects of your energy, especially as it's rising, okay? I'm also getting something here about the sacral chakra that's very powerful. So this feminine energy that I'm tapping into, you may not be aware of this, but you have very powerful sexual energy, okay? So much so that it has to be transmuted. So this sacral energy is not only sexual energy, but it's creative energy, okay? So this may be a very creative time for you. You may be wondering where you're pulling this energy from, this vitality. Um, it's coming from your sacral chakra. And this is very interesting because your masculine can feel this as well. 
And this may manifest for them as physical sensation or even just a gut feeling, okay, or strong passion. But the energetic bond in this connection is very intense at this time. And your masculine is viewing your energy and attraction very, very differently, okay? There's a focus on where you're transferring your energy because it's very potent and it has the ability to create, okay? So this is what's making your person a little defensive when it comes to you. And whatever you're doing, Divine Feminine, your masculine can feel your energy rising in a very, very real way. This is highlighting also one of the key factors in the twin flame dynamic, the sexual slash creative energy and how to actually use it properly, okay? And because you both share a chakra system, your masculine may actually be tapping into this energy to manifest you as well, okay? Yeah, this, this is a very, very rare kind of connection, but very, very high charged and high paced, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, you were my biggest lesson. Yeah, there may definitely be some type of activation that your person is going through, okay? If you're familiar with Kundalini activation, your connection may very well be going through that at this time. Something very powerful is happening behind the scenes energetically, okay? But with this, this card here, although your masculine has been having a hard time being away from you, they kind of view this time as bittersweet because now they know that they need you. And this is not coming from a place of codependency. This is the energy of a masculine who truly understands the value in having a, a partner who compliments them. And being the divine feminine, you automatically become the teacher on a very, very rare subject, and that's pure, unconditional love. And although love is a word that's thrown around a lot, your masculine is realizing that this is your God-given gift to them. So if you're wondering why your person has never truly let you go, regardless of where you've been on your journey, um, it's because they can't and it's because they don't really want to, okay? This is someone who has always felt a little possessive when it comes to you, but not in the negative sense. This is coming through as a more protective energy here where your person feels as if they're here to play a certain role in your life. They also feel like they're aspects of you that are only for them. Very territorial energy coming through here. This is a powerful masculine energy, okay? And even the thought of someone else having access to you in this way makes them very emotional. So being at a distance from you is making them realize that what they feel for you doesn't just go away because of a temporary separation or because the communication has been lagging. You're teaching them that when love is real, it's forever. It's not something that you can control, okay? They're also realizing that it's kind of crazy for them to sit back, driving themselves insane, thinking about what you're doing and who you're doing it with when they can actually be with you, okay? This is someone who is realizing that they don't want to have to guess when it comes to you. And the fact that this has been their place recently is, is literally eating them alive, okay? They know that they play a much more important role in your life, Divine Feminine, and they're ready to take that position, okay? You're also teaching them something about timing here because they keep going back to your origin story and they're, they're measuring time, okay? Although we know that it's not linear, especially in this connection here, they can't help but to feel like it's running out, okay? This is somebody who knows that anybody that aligns with you on their journey would be extremely lucky to have you. And deep down, they know that you are the one for them, okay? This has been confirmed for them over and over again. And I'm also getting that this has been confirmed for you as well, Divine Feminine, okay? So right now, your person 
is definitely going through some type of spiritual upgrade, some type of lesson, or their, their level of awareness is definitely rising at this time within the connection here. And they have you to thank for this. So this separation may be due to you putting up a boundary, Divine Feminine, you raising your standard in some kind of way. Or this could have been something that happened naturally due to, you know, divine timing. Either way, whatever lesson your person was supposed to learn, they're learning it, okay? Let's get the last message here. The last message we have here is, will you ever forgive me? Wow. Yeah, this, this, this is surrender, okay? This is the energy of a masculine who has a guilty conscience. It's like they're replaying a lot of moments and honestly, they feel a little embarrassed by their actions or even things that they've said to you or things that they never said or never had the courage to say, okay? This is someone who realizes that your requirements are different at this time. And their energy is coming through very apologetic because they mishandled you. And this is not pointing to a tumultuous relationship or connection at all, okay? This is your masculine realizing that because of your energy, you need to be handled in a certain way. You need to be affirmed. You need open and honest communication from them. There has always been this push and pull dynamic with you, not because your masculine doesn't love you, but because they don't know how to openly express just how much the love they have has kind of taken a front seat in their lives, even from a distance. And depending on where you are on your journey, they're realizing that as the feminine energy, there are certain things that you require in love. So your person has been manifesting this meeting because they want your forgiveness, okay? And they're unsure of where you are and where you stand with them. That's why their mind is, you know, painting these pictures and kind of trying to piece together information based upon what it is that they know or what it is that they're assuming. Um, for some of them, I'm getting that they just have wrong information <laughs> as it pertains to you and where you are, Divine Feminine. But they are totally missing you, okay, a lot. So you may definitely feel them pulling on your energy at this time because they're, they're really unsure about where you stand with them. And their emotions are coming through so intensely because They've taken time away from you and now they're asking the universe to align you with them again. There's emphasis on the timing of this because there may be barriers that you both are facing, okay? There could be something in your world or their world where they feel like they need assistance in getting you in front of them, okay? But this is ultimately what they want right now. And they can't help but to feel a little protective over you because they wonder if you still feel the same way, okay? This is really the energy of someone who ultimately wants you to be happy, whether it's with them or not, but they really feel invested in you and this connection emotionally. This is why their mind is all over the place, okay? But they really want this, this meeting, this encounter to go as planned, okay? It's almost as if they want this chance encounter to kind of be symbolic for you both to know and for it to be confirmed that your love story has already been written, okay? And that no matter where you are right now and where you have been on your journey, that that doesn't change the plans that God has already created for the both of you and for this connection, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, loves, I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to like the video on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.